Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we've done something, so I thought today, while we're out, we do a up to date what's in the bag for the 23-24 season. one so I thought I'd give you an update of what I'm using hopefully going forward to get my handicap down which is uh, 23.7 I think at the minute not very good but you know that's golf for you so today we come along to Hartford Golf Club in Northwich See here at Hartford, they've um, they put in a new Trackman system, and they've also worked on very, very up-to-date pro shop with lots of stuff in it, new stuff, old stuff, anything that anybody would probably need, and it's probably one of the friendliest clubs I've ever been to. So I'm going to carry on playing, and then when we get to the next hole, we'll go through what irons I've got in the bag for this year. Hey right, guys. I thought what we'd do is start with the bag while we're on hole number seven, which is my favourite hole at Harford. Um, it's just, just a lovely hole. I'll just show you quickly. So obviously, we see off here, don't we? We're going down there. So we see off and we go down there, as you can see. I'll just zoom in for you. to be one of my favourite holes of all time that I've played. Um, so yeah, it's a lovely, lovely hole. So, start off with irons. If you remember, last time we had Ben Rosses. So we've now gone. Well, you can see that. Well, you can see that now. We've gone for the Wilson D7s. Yeah, I just like that at the bottom. Well, you can see that there. Um, D7s, they've got the KBS shafts, which had on me at the old clubs. And I have five up to sand wedge. Um, I have bought a pink gap wedge to go in between, the sand dining and the pitching wedge. Reason I bought these, I'll put a link up above. Uh, about two years ago, I did a review of them, and I loved them. And I always said, if I got the money and they come up, I would buy them. And they turned up on eBay at a really good price. So I thought, I'm having them. So I bought them. I've only had them about six, seven weeks. I'm still getting used to them. Uh, green screen on there. So I'm still getting used to the clubs. So that's the, uh, the irons. On the hybrids, are still the same. We've still got a Ben Ross. Let me show you. Still got a Ben Ross, uh, I think that's a 20 degree, and we've still got a 17 degree hybrid, which is the same as what we had before. Three wood. We've gone with a tailor made M2 two, three wood. Oops, camera's all over the place here. Now, the difference with this one. It's a 16.5 degree loft, uh, which I find easier to get in the air and seems to really want to go straighter when I hit it right. Didn't realise didn't realise it was 16 degree loft when I bought it, but you know that's my fault for oh dear me, dear me. that's my fault. I'm dropping everything. That's my fault for not reading the description. But so that's the tailor made M4. Three wood, which I love. Now, I did have 
the TaylorMade M4, is it M4? M5. M4. M4 driver. But I didn't quite like it for some reason. It just didn't didn't sit right. Nothing against TaylorMade, it just didn't sit right. So, what I've done, I've gone to PXG. Okay. Lots of reviews about these. Oh, dear, mate. Oh, my God. Lots of reviews about the PXG, so I thought I'd take a chance. I have got the O211 10.5 degree loft. And it seems okay at the minute. It's doing what it needs to do. Distance is okay. Straightness is okay ish. Um, it does what it says on the tin, really. Um, New, you can buy them for about £200, I think, at the moment, maybe a bit more, uh, but I also pick this up on eBay, a bit cheaper, so we'll pay much for a driver. Obviously, you can, you know, get fitted for it, or you can go and buy one of the brand new ones, buy other brands. So we're going to play this hole, and we'll pick the rest of the bag up when we get down there. Right, guys, I've come to the uh, ninth hole, or the 18th, anyway, how are you playing? Uh, you see behind me is the range. So I'll quickly just go through what else I've got in the bag, uh, accessories wise, which I've been using or using at the moment. First one is the tees. Now they all say you have to do something for the environment. So what I've decided to use is these, these bamboo ones. And they come in all different ones, all different sizes. Very much similar like the castle tees. And they all have the name on it, like this one it says orange. Uh, orange so it's just like the uh, the plastic orange one uh, and that's where a company has recently a couple of years, I think about two years been going now three years maybe uh, what I'll do is I'll drop a link below to them which is called the bigger ball company um, which is really it's really really good really cheap like it's cheap anyway and pushing to support the environment plus the glass a little longer as well I mean, I think I've got around a whole four rounds with one tee, which is which is really good. At the moment, ball-wise, I'm using what are these uh, tailor-made RBZs, but only reason that is because somebody bought me for Christmas, and they're very quite nice, so I'm, I'm using them. Otherwise, it's uh, Hominy or Bridgestone I'm using. Uh, oh, I also forgot in the back. I've got what well, some people would turn their noses up, some people wouldn't. I know that because Ping have just brought out a chipper. So I've got the old style chipper as well here. Um, that's in the bag, that's been in the bag for a while. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Um, reason I use it is I forever duff my chip shots around the green and I feel more confident with that around the green or just short of the green than I do with a pitching wedge or something like that. So I have done a review of that so I will put a link to that up there as well. But that's just my opinion. Uh, what else have we got in the bag? Oh winter. We've had this winter and the ground's sodden, you know, balls are plugging, you can't get a decent shot because you're just taking all the ground with you. I bought a winter mat. Not just any winter mat. This winter mat is classed as the perfect line. As it's on it, the perfect line. Now, this is the best mat I have found to use. It's like just using, like, like I use carpet, it's like a carpet every time. Um, comes in different colours, comes in red, blue, and clear. No green. The amount of people you see leaving it on the floor because they forgot it, because it's green, uh, it's quite amazing. So yeah, so red, blue and clear. Um, I'll put a link to them as well. You can buy them on eBay or you can buy them a little bit cheaper from the guys at Perfect Y. Uh, GPS wise I'm still using the Garmin Bushnell because it's just what works. Don't think there's anything else. Uh, let's look at what I've got. So, 
somewhere in there, there is a, uh, a little range finder. Just a little one, just to show you how many yards it is to the flag. But that's only if I'm uh, unsure at a distance. That was only a cheap thing, so I wouldn't... Not your normal range finder. Obviously, the trolley still the motor caddy. Um, going strong still, which is good. Bag to match, motor caddy. Somebody said I've got OCD. But, uh, yeah, but when we go, the clubs are all different. So yeah, so that's just a quick roundup of what's in the bag. Obviously, got Wilson D7 irons. Got two Ben Ross hybrids, a tailor-made three wood, a PXG driver. Um, I'll put a link to the PXG site so you can have a look for yourselves what you think. And that's about it really. Um, oh, before I forget, thanks to Hartford again for inviting me down here. Um, love coming out to play. Mostly Paul in the, uh, in the pro shop. Try the Trackman out as well. They've got the, um, the screens, which is good. And I think it's £10 for 100 balls, which is, which is cheaper in the area. Or you want to come down here and have a have a knock. Um, you do do society days, I know that. Uh, you got the trackman, and then you can come out on the course. So yeah, it's a lovely course. Um, it's nine holder, but it, you can't play 18. So yeah, so that's about it really. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers that I've got. Uh, quite amazing really, thank you very much. See if I can get to 300, that'd be nice. <laughs> and one day I might get to 1,000. To but I'll probably be around another 50 years, but who knows. So, yeah, that's it. And what I'll do for here. Um, probably the next video coming up will be at my new golf club. I have moved clubs. So, I'm just waiting till the end of March before I start playing there. Because I'm just waiting for the clocks to go back. And obviously, try to get a bit of value for money. Uh, Twilight golf and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Click on subscribe. Share the video. Click on any of the links below. Support the guys. Perfect lie. Uh, better ball. Um, yeah. That's it. Can't think of anything else. I'm going to go and play the 18th and we'll get something to eat. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.